Hi Virgo, how are you? And welcome to your Med-May love reading. This is for my gorgeous sun, moon, rising, and Venus. And if it's not May 2021 and you clicked on this reading, you were guided here by your angels and your spirit guides because there's a message here for you. So stick around. We have fun. We laugh. We cry. But most importantly, what do we do? We work on ourselves. We improve our inner world. That way we recognize our love and light energy. We shine our light onto others and they shine their light. And we shift the consciousness of the collective. And who doesn't want to live in a more loving, more compassionate world? <laughs> I do. Ayo. So let's go. Because, you know, work starts from within. Only then can we improve and um, do anything else. So here we go for my gorgeous um, Virgos. Oh, yes. My name is Svetlana. So sit back, enjoy, and um, learn. <laughs> learn take notes i'm talking to virgos no tino shade i'm a virgo sun let's go got my notepads right there got like seven looking at me so i wouldn't ace of pentacles beautiful you have a brand new beginning coming in virgos take a look at this little little it's massive ayo look at this oh beautiful you got a brand new um beginning could be new job new um new opportunities whatever it is gorgeous Oh, challenge though right now is Six of Cups. Challenge is for you to stop looking back. Nostalgia mode. Oh, because what's ahead? Victory. Beautiful. We got six and six here. We're, um, we're heading towards balance and harmony. Beautiful. Nine, nine of Cups. And what happens when you're in harmony with yourself? Self-love, fulfillment internally. Nine of Cups. Beautiful. Ten of Pentacles. This is silly. This is silly abundance. Two of Swords. Okay. What are you going to be in your head about? Well, we'll clarify. The Hangman. Beautiful. Shifting your perspective on something. Lovers. Gemini energy. Pisces for the Hangman. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What did I just say? 666. Six, six you have balance and harmony coming in and the lowers this year is also a six you have four sixes fours are stability six is harmony this is insane this is gorgeous this is beautiful energy and what do my earth signs love more than the coin that's coming in stability right it's the sun ultimate happiness content inner peace whatever that it is that makes you smile that makes you um full of life it is here it's coming in well first of all it's already inside of you right remember what we how we see the world is what's going on inside so by flipping by changing your perspective this it will make the sun come out daily literally even at night oh this is gorgeous Virgo, there you are. There you are. Your overall energy is the queen of uh, pentacles, almost at cups. And look, the universe is giving you aces or white gifts from the universe. And there you are on your throne, taking it, looking at it, appreciating, expressing what gratitude. Without gratitude, we are not getting anything here, people. Practice gratitude. Practice positive affirmations remember words are energy what you say into the universe is exactly what you get and look at this ten of pentacles you could have been working on um work you could have been focused but now everything's balancing out and the universe sees the hard work and here is your reward so we got a reward coming in from the universe this is gorgeous oh but patience, remember, Queen of Pentacles is patient and she's understanding, she's compassionate. So if this um, gift is not here yet from the universe, keep working, keep building. And um, just know that the sun is always within you. You don't need to wait for the sun card to come out literally or figuratively. Inner peace is attainable to you any given second of the day, dear souls. 
Oh, I picked up to clarify four of um, four of uh, swords came out. Meditation card fell on the sun. When you meditate, that's where you become still. Stillness is key here. Patient stillness, and that's when you um you breathe. <laughs> you breathe with your heart. You appreciate, you express gratitude, and you be you what you tap into that inner stillness, which leads to content with where you are right here, right now. And that's the that's the ultimate happiness, right? Beautiful. Let's clarify though the six of cups as your challenge this um this week. Six of cups for my Virgos. What's the challenge here? Is it connected to the ace of pentacles? Because that could be an offer, an engagement, or something moving in. We got a king of uh, swords that just flew out. Gemini, Aquarius, Libra energy. Five of pentacles. The lovers. All right. So um, dealing with an air sign, possibly. <laughs> possibly could be in their chart. Don't go. Or Gemini. We have the lovers twice on deck. Someone's feeling left out. Someone is not feeling whole. I don't care if it's Crosswatch or you, whoever is listening. Remember, you're always whole. There is no better half. There's just a you, another whole that you, person. Not literally a whole. Get your mind out of the gutter. Another whole um, soul that you will build with. So there's no better half. Let's let's swipe that. Let, this is the perspective we need to shift, right? So someone's feeling lack here. Someone wants some... Um, Someone wants harmony with you. Someone wants balance. Someone wants a union. Okay. Let's see. Is this... Let's see. What's the Ace of Pentacles? What's the Ace of Pentacles? For Virgo? What's the Ace of Pentacles? Coming in. Thank you. What did I just say? I said someone wants a union with you. Four of Wands. This is a home life. This is coming together, celebrating, building a strong foundation, a strong union. Queen of... God. The moon. We got more cancer energy. We got... We have a counterpart, don't we, kids? We got Queen of Swords and King of Swords here. We got the lovers twice. Um, so yeah, strong Gemini energy and four of, um, four of ones coming together, counterpart, balance, balancing each other out. Right. And I do see, I do see two bottom of the deck is nine of cups and we got nine of cups here. So both of you while apart could have worked on yourself, could have reached the nine of cups that's what self-love that's um, realizing you your love is not external it's internal remember that and now uh, one needs to come together but the moon is here we either got a lot of secrets on deck that no one's expressing maybe love is not expressed whatever is not expressed it is in the subconscious it's um you got to bring out you got to bring it out to the sun your souls if there's something you want to express crosswatch wherever it is it needs to be lit literally it needs to be lit up because someone's not expressing their truth that's why we're gonna get the two of swords and decision let's go let's clarify two of swords please for my uh, virgos oh wow crazy oh my god ace of swords flew out empress we got libra taurus energy more earth sign there you are once again queen of pentacles could be dealing with a libra taurus both of you want clarity both of you want clarity on this situation and it's coming in it's coming in as soon as one of you speaks out i don't see any communication cards here yet i see thinking I see wondering about it. I see subconsciously maybe um, bearing it deep down, right? But no one's speaking their truth. Ace is what? This is a sort of truth. And look, in this deck, there's fire around it. So it's passionate. It wants to be lit. I keep saying lit. <laughs> maybe someone's watching you are lit right now. <laughs> but someone wants to bring this into light, right? This is gorgeous energy. 
the empress is here empress is worth nurturing beautiful th this is once again what did i just say you both of you balance each other out beautifully right you could be mirroring each other you could both be working on yourself and mirroring each other because we did see two nine of cups gorgeous energy um what's the hangman what what do you what do you need to um switch we got page of swords ace of pentacles again the higher than more taurus energy yeah you have to um you have to start from scratch there could be old belief systems that are holding you stagnant you need to go into this page of swords mode Pages what? Pages are learners. They're eager beavers, right? They want to learn. They're open. Thank you. A lot of you need to open up to new perspectives, whether it's some um, concrete ideas you have about a relationship, about a union, whatever it is, about life in general. Virgos, I'm not good. We have this conversation about the notebooks. I'm going to say it. you like things done in a certain way, right? You have... um. You have a checklist. You're like, first this, that, and the other. So maybe you have to start from scratch. You have to rethink how you do things. Remember, doing things the same way gets and expecting different results is what? That's insanity. So this is, you need to go into your um, mind process, your thought process, whatever it is. You need new ways of seeing and doing thank you things. And this is what's going to bring in this new brand new beginning, Ace of Pentacles. Like I said, you want different results. You need to do and think. Because remember, when you start changing the way you think, you start changing the way you talk, the way you um, make decisions. Thank you. And when you start making different decisions, you're going to start getting different results. And that's when clarity and new beginnings, tangible and mental, can come in. Gorgeous. This is a beautiful reading, Virgo. This is enlightenment here. Um, the sun. What's, uh, what's the sun? Beautiful victory. Don't forget, we also have six of wands. Victory. Victory in the sun. What's the sun for Virgo, please? For my Virgos. Thank you. Three of Wands. Page of Cups. The Hermit. There you are. This is this is beautiful. This is you going within. This and what did I say? What did I say about the sun? I said you create the inner peace, the content, the happiness. It's already inside of you. A lot of you right now don't realize it. But this is a beautiful present from the universe. The realization of this ultimate happiness is already within you. This is why you have to go in right now. Whoever's listening, you have to go within. You have to um, start creating. Look how she's looking out into the world, right? Threes are what? These are looking out into the world and seeing possibilities. This is not only like thinking outside the box. That's such a small metaphor here. This is thinking outside the freaking universe. This is let your imagination have no limits believe in miracles believe in magic stop mm, stop letting these um limiting beliefs hold you back that you had or you had have whatever it is something's holding you back something's holding you back from your past you know the way you were brought up and all these things sometimes they stop serving you Sometimes there's, well, sometimes there's always time for renewal and this is it, dear souls. Open up, open up emotionally, mentally to possibilities. Start dreaming so big. It's silly. It's, you know how we say that's impossible. There's no such thing. Anything's possible when there's love. Once you start feeling this love for whatever you're imagining, it will manifest. That's the beauty of the universe. Amazing. All you need to do is get out of your head. Eight of um, eight of swords on the bottom of the deck. This is keeping you stagnant. This is keeping you with that. This is keeping you. Look, you're keeping your own imagination and heart. And for either you're scared, or you don't trust the universe. Therefore, you don't trust yourself. Ask yourself these questions. Whatever it is, you need to unbind yourself. Only you can do that. That way, you can flip this, see this, welcome the union. And recognize things right in front of you. 
this takes work this takes work virgo and i know you love it so go within there it is hermit go within do the work and see miracles happening feel them see them believe in them thank you so much beautiful souls if this resonated leave a like comment subscribe hit the bell we have fun here but most importantly what do we do we elevate and we shift our consciousness love you and thank you